What's up guys? Today we are going to do another tutorial and this one is on how to do that little transition into the eye effect that I, I showed you guys in the intro to this video. This is a very popular effect because it's just, it's badass. Some people will say it's overdone, but I actually don't think it is because you kind of need a macro lens to do this effect and a lot of people don't own a macro lens. I actually just picked one up for a shoot. Fuck. Yo, what's up? Could I call you back in like 15 minutes? I'm in the middle of filming a video. All right, bye. Now, where were we? I actually just picked up a macro lens for a shoot later this month to do like some jewelry shots and you know, people like the details for those. And I thought getting a macro lens would be good for my wedding videos. So I got a macro lens and this is the first thing I've shot on it. I've tried to do this effect before, but it never turned out exactly the way I wanted it to because I did not have a macro lens. You need to have a macro lens. And once you have that, obviously you just aim it at your eye and then you get your clip. That said, let's get straight into the actual editing portion of this in After Effects. So here's my clip of my eye. Basic shot, I am not moving, it's just my eye. Here's the clip that we want to zoom into. It's just the shot of this bridge I found on Video Blocks. This is not sponsored by Video Blocks or Story Blocks, but whatever, they're pretty dope. Anywho, the first thing you want to do is duplicate your eyeball clip. So Control D, that duplicates it. Take your masking tool and draw a mask around the pupil of your eye. So here we go. Draw a mask around the pupil as best as you can. And voila. Now we need to track that mask through the duration of the clip. So press M, click this little stopwatch here, and then right click mask one, track mask. Go up to your tracker and then let it track itself. Hopefully it works out well. Boom, it tracked it perfectly. Sometimes tracker doesn't work and you may have to do some manual adjustments, but in this case, it worked out very well. Now you want to switch that mask to a subtraction mask because we want to put the next clip underneath here. So if you solo out this layer, you'll see that it's just a hole where the pupil of your eye is. So next step is to take the clip you're zooming into and put it behind the layer with the pupil cut out. So here is our bridge shot. We're going to take this, bring it in between our two eyeball layers and bring it all the way back here. That way it is showing up where the pupil once was. Now you want to cut this clip here because we're going to use just the actual bridge shot after we zoom into the eye. Obviously this is not the view that we want to see in the pupil for this first portion of the transition. So we need to scale down the bridge shot. Move it around to be where you want it to be. That looks good right about there, make it a little bigger. Boom, there's your bridge shot inside of your pupil. Next thing we need to do is keyframe the position so it actually stays in approximately the same spot. Otherwise your eye is moving around and the bridge is not, so it kind of looks a little, uh, a little cheap. I know somebody's gonna comment and say, why didn't you just 3D track it? I tried, it doesn't work for this clip for whatever reason. Maybe it'll work for you, it did not work on this clip. The 3D tracker in After Effects, it, it just didn't work. So I'm going to go through and manually adjust the position to match the movement of the eyes. We're gonna fast forward through this. Bitch, I'm a savage, I spit at you bastards. I wonder what you gonna do to me, oh? I need to hear some more rapping. I'm just not impressed by your cash and your jewelry, oh? Are you my soldiers and I'm a lieutenant? God damn it, you should be saluting me, oh? And there we go. Now the bridge is moving approximately with my eye. I did that really fast. Now here's another thing you're gonna wanna do to your mask for the eyeball. Let's go back up to your eyeball mask. Press F, feather out that mask to blend it a little more, make it look a little more realistic. And now I'm kind of noticing that the edges of the bridge clip are kind of showing up here and down here. So we need to scale it up a teeny bit. Let's, let's try 23. There we go. Now it's fully within the, uh, the pupil there. The only thing left to do is zoom into the eye. So we just need to throw a zoom effect here. If you have Baker's Tut's Easy Transition V2, which is the transition plugin a ton of people use for the style of videos I do, travel vlogs, all that good stuff, it's really easy to do this transition. You just choose your center point. We wanna zoom into the eye and then you add a zoom effect. Let's try 100. Boom, you're done. However, if you do not have Baker's Tut's Easy Transition V2, then I'm going to show you how to do this manually. I don't want you to have to buy stuff to do this effect. So you make an adjustment layer, cut it to the length you want the zoom effect to be. Let's rename this Zoom Transition. 
And first thing we're gonna need to do is add a motion tile effect to this adjustment layer. Switch your output width and output height to 200 and check mirror edges. Then you want to add a transform effect to that layer. And the reason we added that motion tile is so that we can scale in and out of these clips and it'll still look pretty like that. Anyhow, let's go back to the beginning of our zoom transition layer. We're going to keyframe the scale, press U to open up your keyframes. Now you just wanna scale up all, as far as you want the zoom transition to go into the eye, I, I think 300% is maybe overkill, but I, we'll, we'll stick with that. Notice that the eye is off center, so we also want to transform the position of this layer. So go back to the beginning of your transition layer, keyframe position in the transform effect. Press U again to have that pop up. Then we go to the last frame of your eyeball clip, and we're going to adjust that position to be centered in the pupil. Boom. Now go to the first layer of your bridge clip and we're going to essentially reset everything. Let's bring the scale back to 100, put the position back at 1920, 1080. This is a 4K clip, so it's 1920, 1080 to be centered for me. It might be 960, 540 for you if you're doing an HD clip or even something weird if you're doing some weird resolution. Anyhow, now we want to adjust the scale so it's like we're zooming into this bridge clip. So bring the scale down. I think that's about good. I don't like going too far because otherwise it looks like a freaking kaleidoscope. So go by little bits at first, then move to the end of your zoom transition layer and bring it back to 100 and 1920, 1080, which it already is, but I'll add a keyframe there just for good practice. Now you should have a full on zoom effect here. The only thing is that looks like shit. So we need to select these first two keyframes and ease out. Select these last two keyframes, ease in, and that looks a little less like shit, but it still looks pretty shitty, honestly. So we're going to go to this keyframe here for the scale, right click, ease in, and then go to your graph editor here, and then we're gonna make that ease in come down this way, so it's like a smooth ramp into that zoom effect. And then we have to do the same thing on the other side of this. Add a ease out effect on this next keyframe down here, and then move it up here as well. Kind of similar to what we did on this left side, but it's it's the opposite, and it's obviously not nearly as large of a, of a slope. Now it's zooming out on that slope. And then you just adjust it to where you think looks good, and then let's watch that transition again. And there we go. I don't really like how the positions are keyframed, but that's the effect. You can always go in and tweak this however you want to tweak it. You can do whatever the hell you want. Now here are two little extra steps I suggest doing just to make everything a little prettier. So here, let's, uh, let's clean this up, close all these. Let's change the blending modes for this bridge inside the eye. I would suggest using the soft light, hard light, this area of blending modes here. Or honestly, like even color dodge might look cool for some effects. Just go through them and figure out which one looks best for what you're going for. That looks kind of cool. I actually really like the classic difference here because it still shows the texture of the eye, but it puts the, uh, the sunset clip over it. So that's the one I kind of went with in my clip. And then another thing I would do is add a CC force motion blur effect to your zoom transition layer. That way it'll automatically add some motion blur to your transition. That is it for the tutorial. And like I always suggest for these types of effects, add some good sound design, put a whoosh there and everything will sound and look perfect. That is it for this tutorial. Let me know any other tutorials you wanna see. Check out my other videos. My My Year 2019 video specifically is one that I want you guys to go watch if this tutorial helped you. I did a lot of cool effects in there and uh, yeah, let me know if there's anything in that video you wanna see a tutorial for. Make sure to go follow Follow me on Instagram, it's at Drew Kosak. I've been trying to post more valuable content for video creators on there. And I also just post like my edits and other stuff for my portfolio. But yeah, subscribe to the channel. A lot more valuable content coming when it comes to post-production. And then I also have like some vlogs and travel edits planned as well. Stay tuned for those and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Ain't nobody give a show me love when I was coming up. I had a double up and tell these niggas fucking love before they ride. And they don't really want to knuckle up. I hit them with the uppercut. I had these motherfuckers running for their lives. Unidentified craft when I'm flying past. I'm an elegant standing. And if you look up in the sky.